Are you a BDR or an SDR looking to make the switch to sales engineering and want to know what it takes to do that? Then this video is just for you. I'm going to break it down by using a SWOT analysis, which is a tool often used in sales to explore the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats for a BDR transitioning to the SE role. And after that, I'll provide a step-by-step -step guide of how to actually make that happen. Keep watching. I have a lot of respect for this job. It's a tough, intensive job. From the perspective of an SC, this feels like a hamster wheel of bad dates. The job consists of approaching dozens of potential prospects weekly and only a very small percentage of those actually agrees to do the next call. It's not very gratifying and it requires a lot of energy and perseverance. But the job allows you to acquire a ton of strengths that you can use as you progress your career. So let's talk about your strengths. The key strength that you have is soft skills. Soft skills make probably more than 50% of this job. The ability to effectively communicate the product value proposition, to explain things in a simple way, to build a relationship and rapport with a customer. That's the key thing in this job. The next strength that you have is understanding the product value from the business perspective. It will later on help you tie those product features back to the value for the customer. This is an area where a lot of SEs actually struggle because they're so focused on features and not the value. And the last one is sales cycle navigation. The ability to guide the customers through the buying journey is a valuable strength. It allows you to see the bigger picture and avoid getting bogged down in details and slowing down the sales cycle. Let's talk about weaknesses. And obviously on the top of everyone's minds is the technical proficiency. You lack the in-depth technical knowledge about the product that the SE job requires. The next one is demo skills. You excel at sales-oriented presentations, but you lack the skills to run lengthy technical demos of the product, answer and handle technical questions and provide guidance to the customers. And the last one is problem solving skills. Sales engineer is a first technical point of contact for a customer and as soon as they have an issue with our product, they will come to us. So it's expected from us to troubleshoot the problem, solve it or communicate with support, communicate with the product and find a solution. And this is a gap that you still have to address. Let's talk about the opportunities and I admit this is a very subjective one and please leave a comment on what is motivating you to think about moving to sales engineering. For me, a couple of things come to my mind. First one is obviously career growth. Sales engineering job is considered a senior role, so it is a natural career progression. Also, sales engineers are closer to the product, product development, so they have more influence on where the product is going. And the next thing is money. Sales engineers, on average, earn more than the entry-level BDR or SDR jobs. And finally, let's talk about the threats or what makes it hard to make the leap from a BDR to a sales engineer. And the first one is market competition. You will be competing against sales engineers who not only have prior sales engineering experience on the CV, but also have the expertise in the required technical domain. And the second one for me is change or adapting to change. Changing the job is already a very stressful situation and here you're adding additional stress by changing the job role, which means that not only you will have a different manager and team, but you will also have to work with different stakeholders and balance between different responsibilities, expectations, and you will also have to work with different tools, different processes. There's going to be a slightly different culture than what you're used in your current job. So all in all, it's going to be a challenge to adapt to the change. So as you've seen in the SWOT analysis, you have some key strengths that you bring to the table, but you also have serious gaps that you have to address. And it's going to be hard to land a job in a different company, like two change a company and change the job role at the same time. Just because there are so many experienced SEs in the market that it's going to be hard for the companies to consider you as a relevant candidate. So from my perspective and from my experience, I think the best course of action for you is to try to land an SE job within the current company. And here are the steps that I do to make this happen. First of all, talk to your manager. Let them know that at some point in the future you're planning to switch to an SE job and I'm sure they will appreciate this because they'll be glad to hear that you have an idea of your career growth 
and they are well aware that nobody wants to work as a BDR or an SDR their whole life. They haven't. So ask them for guidance and support. They might be able to secure some shadowing or mentoring opportunities for you with an experienced sales engineer. Talk to your sales engineering peers and ask them for advice and feedback. Learn from their best practices and see if they can share some demo scripts and tricks with you. The next step is invest time into bridging that technical product gap that you have. And I'm sure your company already has a ton of pre-sales training resources. So another reason to talk to your sales engineering peers, ask them what are the best trainings to start with. Additionally, there are tons of online learning resources, Udemy or Coursera or LinkedIn learning platform. It could be that your company already has enterprise account there, so you might get a free access to improve your technical skills independently of the product features. Practice your demoing skills by creating your own environment and scenarios. And at least for the beginning, I would not do demos of the product because I lack that deep technical product knowledge. So I would decouple that and instead I would take a product that I know well, like a phone or something that I use on a daily basis and I don't need to learn about. So I would just record myself demoing this product and then rewatch the video to see where my skills and weaknesses are and then work on those. And finally, there's a ton of free resources out there, including this channel. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more educational content like this. In this video, I talked about what it takes to make the transition from a BDR role to an SE role by providing a SWOT analysis of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And I've given you a step-by-step -step guidance of how to actually make that transition happen within the current company. There is no one-size-fits-all recipe, so you will have to adapt these to your goals and your situation. Let me know below in the comments what your motivation and your situation is and why you're thinking of making that switch to the SE. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay healthy and stay tuned.